Hey everyone, it's Logan here. Um, today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to use the website Celtex, that is C E L T X dot com. Um, so, what this website is for is it's for anyone interested in film or video work. This is a great website to use for screenwriting and organizing scripts for your projects. There is a free version you can use if you just sign up for this website. You don't have to sign up for a payment plan and you can get three projects and you can write scripts. You can... Um, I'm pretty sure you can write as many as you want. Um, if you sign up for a membership you do get a few more options with that, but um, I'm pretty sure the cheapest membership on this website you'd still have to pay around $15 a month, so if you don't think that's worth it, this website could still be for you, because there are free options here. Um, so, let me go into some of the features this website has. So, first of all, there are projects. So, basically it's a place where you can just keep a bunch of scripts and storyboards and stuff like that it's effectively a giant folder so I've got a new project here I'm just gonna call it new project so these are a few things you get with this um, Now, the index cards and the storyboard, I'm pretty sure you have to go into a paid plan for that, so I'm not really going to delve into those too much. But the screenplay, if you're even if you're just using this website for free, you still get this feature. So let's take a look at how the website goes about the screenplays, because this is really the most important part of this website, is this right here. So... Within Hollywood, screenplays generally have a very traditional format, and this website basically automatically formats um, its scripts like that. So, what we're starting off with here is a screen heading, and that would generally um, be used to describe, like, hey, here's the location a scene is taking place in. So, we could say interior diner day. Now we've got the action line where we describe what's actually going to be happening in a scene. So we could say, um, Tony walks into the diner, he sees a bear. Right. Um, now, to get a lot of these other things, so you've got all this stuff here. You can have characters, dialogue, um, transitions, shots, all that. You can go to this drop down menu here, and obviously you've got um, these commands to be able to get all these things control 0, control 1. You can also just go into your script here, and if you just press tab, then that will take you to being able to write in a character's name. And then, as you press tab, it basically goes through that drop-down menu and gives you all the different things. So let's go back here. So, now I'm going to write a piece of dialogue. Pretty straightforward. And then, of course, um, if you want, you can press tab a few times. Eventually, you will get the parentheses, and of course that is in this drop-down menu. You can hit Control 5 to get it easier, whichever way is um, the best one for you. Generally, I prefer to press Tab. Now with the parentheses, this tends to be more a direction of how a line is being delivered, or it could also just be describing a sound um, an animal is making, so in the case of a bear, it growls. 
Again, pretty straightforward. Now, of course, um, you also get transitions. That puts your text over there on the right. Again, this is pretty traditional screenplay format. I find it's just a great way to be able to organize my scripts, and I just, I just like the way this looks. Um, so then if you go to file, um, you can go to download your script or print it if you want. Oh, okay, so then you've got this blank page here. So what you can do there is you can go to edit and then you can edit a title page and then Whatever you write here will show up where that blank page was. I'm not, I'm not going to fill out the rest of that. So now you'll see we've got a title page. Yeah, so that's that's the script feature. Um, if you want to save, that's over here on the right. Um, you've got a couple other features here. You can write in dual dialogue, meaning if you have two characters in your script who are speaking at the same time, you can have that appearing at the same time on the script. And yeah, always make sure to save. You do get a history feature, but you do have to have a paid membership for that. And uh, that, that history feature is the primary reason why I got a uh, membership to this site, because I, I realized a script I was writing, I kind of wanted to go back to an earlier version of it. Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty basic stuff with that. That's how you uh, write a script in Celtex. Um, you do get these other features here, the index cards, the storyboards. Um, I'll just take a quick look at some of these real quick, just so you can see kind of what's going on with these. Um, so the index cards, basically, it's meant as a way to describe what is happening in each scene, kind of a way to plan out <coughs> your film. Um, so right there. Then of course, you got a new card, that'll be scene two. Again, uh, pretty basic stuff there, but can really be a great way to plan out your films or videos. Now the storyboard feature You are not able to actually um, draw within this feature. You basically have to import images from your computer. But it is a feature that this website has if you want to use it. Could definitely come in handy. If you've got, you know, your script here, if you've got, you know, a shot list here or anything like that, then might be helpful to have your storyboard there as well. Uh, so yeah, so that is how you write a script in Celtex. Um, I hope for anyone who's potentially interested in a film or video career, this tutorial came in handy and gave you a potential option for uh, just how to go about planning your projects. So um, yeah, that's about all I've got here. So uh, I'll catch you later.